I guess it's a, a discipline kind of like, uh, it's not a martial art but it kind of applies to some of the sorts of situations where you've got the, uh, the fight part and the flight part, you know, the fight or flight response. Um, where it's, it's, I guess, the art of the chase, the art of movement, um, clearing obstacles um, with your body without any kind of extra things added on, like springy shoes, as sometimes you see. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a notoriously difficult thing to define because um, it, it's got all these different philosophies attached to it as well. But um, it's generally typified by people doing the um, movements that you see vaulting and climbing and jumping and crawling and balancing. And, yeah. It's really hard to describe. If anything, it's like a discipline. It's like a training. It's, yeah, it's a hard one, really. <laughs> uh, in maths, it teaches us that the quickest points between two, the quickest way between two points, is a straight line. What it doesn't teach you is that if there's an object between those two points, that it's not quite right. So what parkour does is it, is it exploits that point <laughs> and helps you get over it. I guess there's two, two main problems um, that I've seen. One is where people uh, don't really understand what we're doing, they don't understand how much we train for what we're doing and the amount of repetition and time it takes to, to develop the skills. Um, so I guess from the, from the average person just walking past it seems like they've got these random people jumping around causing a disturbance, possibly breaking things, um, but again they don't understand what's going into it. And the other danger uh, or the other problem that I've seen is, is uh, imitation by people who don't realise again the same things. Um, they don't realise the amount of training that goes into being able to do the things we do safely because yeah, that's quite an important thing, uh, safety. I do parkour because it's fun, it keeps me fit and off the computer which is was well, pretty much my life and like it's training my body and mind and overcoming like obstacles which I couldn't do before. I saw videos on YouTube and things like that. I, I think I probably uh, many years ago I wanted to do a backflip. That's been a sort of a life goal for a long time but uh, it was actually surprisingly easy to achieve. Um, but uh, yeah I, I searched on YouTube for a tutorial about how to do that and I came across these parkour clips and I thought, hey, that's awesome, I want to get into that. Started training and having a play around in my backyard and at the school down the road. And um, then eventually came across a couple of other people. There still weren't too many people uh, when I started, which was about two and a half years ago, maybe. Um, there weren't that many people doing it back then, so it's, it's starting to grow now, which is good. Um, yeah, just saw the videos on YouTube, I saw them, and it has all the guys jumping off buildings, so I thought, that looks safe. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I, yeah, I heard about it in the notices and through Heitlander, who is my old teacher from last year. And yeah, I just got into it and I just really like it. It's cool, so I just keep doing it. I saw videos, I saw videos from Heitlander, and it sounded fun. So when I saw it in the notices, I was like, I'll go. No harm in that. <laughs> There's, uh, you know, kids just take to this sort of movement because it's an extension of the sort of play that we did when we were small and, you know. Um, I think schools in some ways have a duty to, or a responsibility to, to foster that, to foster that creativity that comes with it, uh, to provide a means that kids are going to latch onto really easily to develop a discipline in their own lives. Uh, it's really big in the UK, they've got a, a academy classes and, and actual qualifications associated with parkour um, and one of the local councils, I think it's uh, Council of Westminster in uh, London, they're actually taking some of these academy classes and, and running sort of at-risk youth uh, through them, that risk youth being sort of at risk of offending and crime and things like that and, and they're uh, yeah, they've, they've seen drops in the crime rate, so I guess it's just because you're giving something positive to do uh, and something healthy to do. Um, whereas previously, you know, the idle hands of the devil's playground kind of thing. What we're actually petitioning to do at the moment is to get an um, obstacle course built around the school. So it'll be the first school to actually ever have a parkour themed obstacle course. And so we're hoping to get like the P department involved in that and furthermore to get the whole P department, yeah all the kids and it's a really cool thing.
you're not competing against other people and when you're in a team sport you're like uh, having to play as a team but sometimes like people hog the ball and like you don't get to do much and this is more like you get to do your personal goals and you progress for yourself so so it makes me train harder so I can get better. Yeah there are definitely some places you can't go like you see all the videos where people jump off roofs and stuff but you've got to have respect for where you're training and you can't just jump up on a roof straight away and anyway you've got to train for it, you have to condition yourself. But yeah, um, not really, I think we're quite sensible when we have respect for where we train so. There is risk, uh, it's not like an extreme sport but there is risk. Um, it's not very dangerous compared to most others because of the amount of repetition and, and training we do and building up from the small things is a very strong philosophy of safety and, and good practice that comes through. I've, I've damaged some ligaments but they've healed and I've, I have never been out of training for more than a couple of days because of injury. So, uh, Getting a strong foundation of, of strength, general body strength, um, generally through lots of bodyweight exercises, pull-ups, push-ups, squats, things like that. And uh, oh, yeah. good. and uh, high repetition of uh, of the skills involved, lots and lots of jumping, um, and very importantly, resting. So when your body feels sore, you need to rest. You need to give time for it to rebuild and regrow stronger. Um, but yeah, there's there's huge huge amounts of information. There's a lot of good sports science coming in now. Um, very important in any training session is your warm ups and so forth.